Taurus Rising's August 2024 looks like you guys are having quite an amount of fun. Maybe too much fun and maybe it's a little bit over the top, but it is a fun month. So if you are excited to dive into what we can expect this August for you, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. If you're new here, hi, I'm Marin. I make videos on astrology and also I put out music so you can find my music, my private readings, and my courses and other astrology content all linked down below. So starting at this month on the 2nd, Venus is going to square Uranus between your fourth house of family and your first house of self. This shows that you are likely going to be having you acting out randomly and it disrupts your family life in some way. Although it doesn't look bad, it just looks like you act randomly or have a surprise for your family. On the 4th, there is a new moon in your Leo fourth house of family. So there's definitely a new beginning happening this month around home, moving, living situation that is a major theme early on. But on the 5th, Venus will be entering your Virgo fifth house, which immediately draws the focus starting in the beginning of the month into your fifth house of dating and creativity and fun. This is why this month is a month of partying and fun because there's so much happening and moving into your fifth house. On the fifth, Mercury will then station retrograde between your fifth and fourth houses. So do know that there will be rethinking, revising, and going back over things that you've worked on with creativity, dating decisions, and home and family decisions that you're now going to be reconsidering. Thankfully, on the seventh to the eighth, Venus will be conjunct Mercury in this part of your chart, showing that this Mercury retrograde probably does have something going on in terms of reconsidering and rethinking creativity, dating, and home life in a way that's really beneficial. On the 13th to the 16th, Mars will conjoin Jupiter in your second house and score Saturn in your 11th house. So with Mars and Jupiter together for the beginning of this month, you are working hard for your money. You are definitely putting in a lot of effort and getting a lot of rewards back financially. But squaring Saturn in your 11th shows that you could face a social or friend network related blockage that leads you to have a delay or issues with making that money. On the 18th to the 19th, Venus will square Jupiter between your fifth and second houses. This is beautiful for creativity and romantic prospects, bringing in or being connected to money somehow. Then on the 19th, Venus will oppose Saturn between your fifth and 11th houses. This does show that as things are going well and you're having inspiration and fun, partying, dating creatively, there's something that is blocking you socially or network-wise or delaying you. On the 19th, there's a full moon in your Aquarius 10th house of career, which is an ending or a letting go or something finishing off having to do with work. So do be aware that that could be finalizing or ending uh, around the 19th. On the 23rd, the sun is entering your Virgo 5th house, drawing even more energy into fun, partying, and yeah, creativity for the rest of the month into September. On the 26th to the 27th, Venus is going to try Uranus in your first house. So it looks like you are inspired to act randomly and surprisingly, either creatively or romantically, and have it go very well at the end of this month. On the 28th to the 29th, however, Venus is going to oppose Neptune in your 11th house. So do be aware that you could be being misled or wearing rose-colored glasses and believing in things that are too good to be true between creativity and your friends or romantic things and partying and your friends. Finally, on the 30th, Venus enters your Libra sixth house of wellness and health. And um, this shows that things are going to improve and go very well for you around fitness, lifestyle, health, and people you work around as we head into September. If you have any thoughts or anything that you want to share about this August coming up for you, make sure to leave it down in the comments. I'm interested in hearing how this month is going to come up for you guys. The tarot card that we have here for Taurus Risings this month is the Queen of Wands. So um, wands are all about creativity and inspiration, and Queen cards are like feminine energy of providing and nurturing. So it looks like this is a month to like nurture and feed the fun and creativity in your life and that due to being like kind of soft and not super rigid with yourself a lot of creativity and fun could come out of it if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a like and also subscribe if you are not already my birth month is august so um i'm hoping that it goes well and i'm hoping that your august is awesome as well and i will see you next month oh.